Hello all, in today's session we are going to solve the problems based on the Fritz free space equation. But here we will discuss first one thing that whenever we are talking about the Fritz free space equation we are considering that our region is the far field region. Here the regions are divided into two fields. One is the near field region and other one is nothing but the far field region. So this far field region where we are applying our free, free space you can say uh, equation this is nothing but the region beyond 2d square by lambda so you, if you are talking about the Fraunhofer region you can say that Fraunhofer region is nothing but the df which is equal to 2d square by lambda so here d is nothing but the dimension of antenna and df is if you talk about the df df must be very very greater than you can say the d okay d is the dimensions of the antenna and again df is again a very very greater than lambda the distance which is greater than this far uh, fraunhofer distance df must be very very you can say uh, df is a fraunhofer distance if your distance must be very very greater than fraunhofer distance then this region will be considered as the far field region whereas we are applying our Fritz free space model. Now let us solve the problem based on the free space model as well as the Fraunhofer distance. So first problem we will talk about the Fraunhofer distance. So the first thing which we are calculating is nothing but to find the Fraunhofer distance for an antenna with the maximum dimensions of 1 meter and operating frequency of 900 megahertz. If antenna have a unity gain, the gain is given a unity, calculate the path loss. So we'll see first what things are given and what is to be calculated. The first thing given is nothing but the dimension that is 1 meter and the second thing is the frequency that is 900 megahertz. Now let us calculate. Now to understand what is the Fraunhofer distance, I need a DID, the lambda. If F is given, I can calculate the lambda. So let us calculate the lambda for this particular equation. So lambda is equal to C by F. C is the velocity of light in the meters per second and the frequency is 900 megahertz that is 900 into 10 raised to 6. So it comes 0.33 meters. I have got the lambda. I can calculate the Fraunhofer distance now by using the formula. So df is equal to 2d square by lambda. So 2 into 1 as dimension is given 1 meter and lambda is 0.33. So when you calculate this one it comes in the meter so this will be 6 meter or you can say 6 divided by 1000 kilometer so we have got the fraunhofer distance that is 6 meter right now now the second thing we are going to calculate the path loss for this fraunhofer distance so if fraunhofer distance is known i can calculate the path loss and path loss free space path loss the first thing i have calculated the fraunhofer distance so second thing is nothing but the free space path loss so when you are calculating a free space path loss we will use the Fritz free space equation over here so ls is equal to 32.44 plus now ls will be in the dbs plus you can say 20 log to the base 10 frequency in the megahertz plus 20 log to the base 10 i can say distance into the kilometer so if you put all these values over here you can get 32.44 plus 20 log frequency is given as a 900 megahertz plus 20 log the distance is given here in the kilometers that 6 divided by 1000 so when you solve this one it will get this value as a 47 dB. So here we have calculated the Fraunhofer distance and we have calculated the path loss which is in the dB. Now let us solve the second problem based on the Fritz free space equation. So here we have calculated the Fraunhofer distance and the path loss. Next one is nothing but the in the satellite communication system the things are given like this. In the satellite communication system the height of the satellite is 36,000 kilometers. So distance you can say the height is given means the distance is given. So I will write here D. I will write down the things which is given. So D is given as a 36,000 it is in the kilometer the next one above the earth and operated at the 4000 megahertz so the frequency is 4000 megahertz the gain of the transmitting antenna is 20 db so i can say gt is 20 db and that of the receiving antenna so gr is equal to 
40 dB and they are asking us to find the free space transmission loss. Now we know how to calculate the free space transmission loss. So A is LS is equal to now we are calculating it in dB 32.44 plus you can say 20 log to frequency which is in the megahertz so we can say this is the 4000 plus 20 log to the best 10 distance into the kilometer so 36000 kilometers so when you put all those values over there uh, your loss will be 32.44 20 log to the frequency base 10 frequency in the megahertz that is 4th heaven and distance in the kilometer so it comes 195.61 db so we have calculated the free space path loss as we know the free space path loss now we can calculate the second thing that is nothing but the received power so let us solve it for the received power the b or the second thing which we are calculating is nothing but the received power when the power transmitted is 200 watt so g transmitted power is 200 watt now we need to convert this transmitted power into dbs okay so pt in db is nothing but the you can say 10 log to the best 10 200 and which is nothing but the 23 dbs so we'll put all these values when we are calculating the received power now we know how to calculate the received power in the dbs it will be the you can say pt plus gt plus gr now minus ls we have calculated now all these things will be in the dbs okay so here we will calculate pt is 23 db gt is nothing but the 20 db gr is nothing but the 40 db minus ls that is path loss which we have calculated 195.61 so all these values will be in the dbs so your received power is equal to we have calculated it as a minus 112.60 db as this is in the dbs we need to convert it into the we can say watts so how to convert this particular power into the watts we can say this minus 112.6 is equal to 10 log to the best 10 into you can say this is the received power in the watts so your received power is equal to 10 raised to minus 11.26 which will be in the watts so this will be 5.5 into 10 raised to minus 12 watts you can say this is 5.5 pico watts so we have calculated the received power in the watts so it comes 5.5 pico watt okay so here we have solved the path loss that is 190.61 the received power is 5.5 Pico watt. Now let us solve another problem based on this free space, free, free space equation. So the second problem or the last problem says us that the free, a free space microwave link consisting transmitter and a receiver each of 30 dB gain operates at the 10 gigahertz. So gain is given for both transmitter and receiver. The distance between transmitter and receiver is 20 kilometer. Okay, so distance is given, gain is given and the frequency is given. So the first thing which we are calculating is the power received by the receiver and the path loss of the link in the dB. So what we will do, we will calculate the path loss first because when you understand the path loss, you can calculate the received power. So what is given that we will see first, the gain is given for the transmitter and receiver. The distance is also given, you can say and what is again given is nothing but the radiated power is given now we can see the 20 kilometer that's what's given link consisting transmitting 30 db gain for receiver and a transmitter so i can leave gt is equal to gr is equal to 30 db and again it is given that f is equal to uh, they have given a 10 of gigahertz and the distance is given is nothing but the i can say 20 kilometer okay a distance between transmitter and receiver is 20 calculate the power received by the receiver and the path loss of the link okay so if they have given all these things and and the one thing which i have uh, forgot to mention that uh, they have given the transmitter radiates a 50 the transmitter radiates 15 watt of power so power is also given so this is nothing but the given thing so pt or p you can say radiated is 15 
watts so as it is given in the watts we need to convert it into the you can say dbs theek hai so what we will solve first first we will solve as a transmission path loss so when i talk about the transmission path loss ls is equal to we can calculate ls is equal to 32.44 plus 20 log to the base 10 frequency in the megahertz plus 20 log to the base 10 distance into the kilometer so let us put all these values over there so 32.44 plus 20 log to the base 10 frequency in the megahertz now this is the 10 gigahertz means you can say here this will be the 10 Zero 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 megahertz. Twenty log to the base. Now distance is already given in the kilometer, so it will be twenty. So when you put all these values and when you calculate the things, your final output is nothing but the one thirty eight point forty six dB. So path loss in the dBs will be one thirty eight point forty six. db now let us calculate another thing which is nothing but the b what is asked next the second thing is asked is nothing but the received power so received power can be calculated with the formula pr is equal to we know that this pr will be in the dbs is equal to you can say pt in the dbs gt in the dbs plus gr in the dbs minus ls so all these values will be in the dbs so this will be the 10 log to the best 10 that radiated is nothing but the pt so convert it into the db so it will be 15 watt plus gt is 30 gr is 30 minus your transmission path loss that is nothing but the 138.46 when you calculate or when you put all these values your received power will become minus 66 0.69 db so as this is in the db this will be 10 log to the base 10 i can say pr which is in the watts so pr is equal to you can say uh, 10 raised to minus 6.669 which comes that 0.2137 microwatts so we have calculated the received power over here which is nothing but the 0.2137 microwatts so this is all about the received power and the transmission path loss so we'll stop here thank you